Hi, I'm Rosetta Patterson. Most of you remember me last semester from Music Theory 1, and I'm analyzing Confutati's movement of the Requiem. I'll be mainly focusing on the first half, and Tara will be sharing the second half with you. I hope you enjoy. Confutati's is one of the more lively sections of the Mozart's Requiem, beginning on Dante. The word confutatis means having been silenced. The translation of the text accompanying the music is as follows. When the wicked are confounded and consigned to keen flames, call me with the blessed, pray suppliant and kneeling, a heart as contrite as ashes, take thou my ending into thy care. So as we can see, this is a very dramatic portion of the Requiem. This movement of the Requiem contains ten different instruments which play together for the majority of the first half. Most of these instruments need no transposition, such as the bassoon, the timpani, the alto, tenor, and bass trombone, the violins, and viola. The only two instruments which need transposed are the basset horn, which is a perfect bit lower when written in treble clef, and the trumpet in D, which is a whole step higher when written in treble clef as well. This movement of the Requiem is one of the largest regarding instrumentation, and all instruments play for the majority of the first half. All four voices are part of this movement and they each have interesting duet parts. The bass almost immediately begins the movement with the tenor very shortly after joining the bass with the word tutti, which stands for all voices or instruments together. They end their duet when the soprano and alto join together sotto voce, which means singing in a quiet voice so as not to be overheard. So the bass and tenor and soprano and alto trade off through the first half of the movement singing these duet parts. The key signature of the first half of this movement is predominantly A minor. The majority of the chords are 7th chords involving several minor 1 and 5 chords. This movement does include some minor 4 chords and major 3 chords in the first half, but the majority revolve around the minor 1 7th chord as well as the dominant 5 7th chord. There are some inversions involved, but for the majority they are in root position. The cadences I analyzed are intertwined with a double contrasting period. The bass and tenor sing their duet part, then the soprano and alto join as I mentioned earlier. At the end of that there is a half cadence. That process repeats itself where this time at the end there is an imperfect authentic cadence. The words and length of the phrases are around the same, but the intervals and motion is different which makes it an imperfect authentic cadence which also a uh, contrasting double period. The history of the Confutatis movement I found to be interesting and worth sharing. Confutatis is the sixth and middle movement of the Requiem, and it is also the final movement Mozart ever composed, but parts of this movement even remain uncompleted after his death. He finished the vocal parts, the figured organ bass line, and the very prominent violin segments before he passed away. The title and lyrics of this piece assert to the belief that he literally composed this movement while he was on his deathbed. Confutatis means confounded or having been silenced. And I'm going to repeat the translation of the text so you can see the where people believe he literally composed this on his deathbed. When the wicked are confounded and consigned to keen flames, call me with the blessed. Pray suppliant and kneeling, a heart as contrite as ashes, take thou my ending into thy care. This text makes perfect sense that Mozart would have written it on his deathbed or knew that he was soon dying, especially at the end where he states, Take thou my ending into thy care. Analyzing my movement and learning the history of the Requiem has been an interesting process. Mozart's Requiem is a masterpiece and Mozart was truly an amazing composer. 
I've enjoyed learning about the Requiem this semester and compiling the presentation. Thank you all for listening.